Welcome back everybody. Hope everyone is doing well. My name is Jason and in today's video we're going to be starting a countdown of the CFL's top 50 players. We'll be counting down each day towards the CFL season on June 8th. Very excited to start this series. This video is going to be a little bit different than the other ones in this series. The other ones are probably going to be a lot shorter than this one but for this first video I want to explain what I have going on and then unveil the 50th player on the list. So first I wanted to go over some of my methodology for compiling this list. So basically what I did at first was I looked at the rosters of the nine CFL teams and by the way only active players counted as part of this list. Um, so I looked at the nine rosters and I decided who absolutely had to be on this top 50 list if I was making one and you know, after I did that for the nine teams, I actually came up with more than 50 names. I came up with around 70 names or so. And that's what came the really hard part of deciding who gets cut and then what order they go in. But um, at the end of the day, everybody's probably going to disagree with some of my selections here. That's okay. Very hard list to compile, a darn near impossible list to um, put together. But um, at the end of the day, I wanted to make it more as an educational kind of thing um, to educate some of the uh, people that are maybe new to the CFL on some of the best players uh, that they're going to be watching here in 2023. So to that end, if you believe a player deserved to be on the list that I didn't have um, by the end of this countdown, be sure to let me know in the comments section. And with that said, let's get started with number 50. Our number 50 player is a guy that I'm just so excited to watch in the CFL this season. Um, he only played... Uh, his first nine games in the CFL last season. So this is a bit of a projection, uh, but what he showed in those nine games last year makes me believe he is a top 50 player in the CFL going into this year, and that is wide receiver for the Edmonton Elks, Dylan Mitchell. In nine games played, he had 35 receptions for 637 receiving yards and four touchdowns. Outstanding numbers for a newcomer to the CFL and also a guy that can really stretch the field, had a big touchdown against Saskatchewan last year, just kind of is a do-it-all threat, a deep threat, um, and a guy that was really standing out on that Edmonton Elks offense that didn't really have too many uh, standout players last season, so I am really excited to watch Dylan Mitchell this season in the CFL, and he's our number 50 player on this countdown. So stay tuned for tomorrow for the number 49 player and so forth on the countdown. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys enjoy this series at any point, be sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>